Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Just when you think that the woke nonsense could not get even worse. Because here's the thing, man. The left, they love to deny that, you know, there's actual indoctrination going on in schools, right? And those who don't deny it say that, well, it's going on, but why do you have a problem with it, right? It's all about diversity and equity and inclusion. We're just trying to educate kids not to be bigots. However, what these people fail to understand, or at the very least, it seems like what they're ignoring, okay, is that a lot of this stuff is overtly sexual in nature, okay? The people that they bring in, okay, the trans individuals, the people that are part of this community that they're trying to push on kids, okay, so that kids cannot be bigots, those people are into activities and things that kids should not be exposed to even if they were straight right if they were straight and i guess what they call cisgender whatever normal um people would say no uh kids should not be exposed to this type of content right but for whatever reason decency and common sense goes out the window when it comes to a certain group of people then they want to get mad when we use the word grooming to describe this type of behavior because what is happening, right? Is kids are being exposed to overtly sexual content in the name of diversity, equity, and inclusion, okay? That's what's happening because all that stuff is inherently connected, okay? And this story right here that I'm gonna talk about drives home my point, right? In which we have a story about how an LA school district shares video on preferred pronouns with the links to non-biological males' Bordeaux photos. Now, on this video, they're not just talking about pronouns, but they're also instructing people to check out these individuals, right, that are in uh, this video and their photos online. And the photos that they're posting online are not appropriate for children to be seen. But for whatever reason, LA school district, the LA school district thinks that that's okay. For example, look at this. Do you think these pictures right here are appropriate for kids, right? Do you think that this is the stuff they should be exposed to, let alone having schools tell them, hey, go check out this person's photos online. Go look at this person's photos. <laughs> Again, I, I don't think that this is even appropriate for YouTube and this is why I'm blurring it out, right? Which is my whole point. The fact that I have to even think about whether or not I need to censor this to make it appropriate for the platform that I'm putting on so I don't get kicked off the platform for sharing softcore you know what, which makes it obvious that this is not appropriate for kids. Amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. So let's read about this. We're gonna watch the video, right, that they put out on the Instagram story. Let's read here. Los Angeles Unified School District shared a video to the Instagram story on Saturday to explain to people how to use preferred pronouns featuring trans activist Addison Vincent and linking to Vincent's personal page. That page is filled with numerous softcore images of Vincent who prefers they them pronouns. The video shows Vincent along with Blair Imani who shares her profile that she is bisexual and Muslim. Bisexual and Muslim. I wonder how that works, right? I wonder how that works. Does she go to the mosque, okay? Okay, since she's openly bisexual, I'm pretty sure she doesn't, right? I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be cool with all that. They're not nearly as tolerant as Christians are about that type of stuff, okay? Again, I wonder how that works. Uh, the two walk through their belief that it is necessary to ask people what their pronouns are. The two introduce themselves with Vincent stating pronouns and Amani play acting by claiming cisgender confusion by saying that people should just be able to tell what her pronouns are. All right, so let, let's watch this video here. Hi, I'm Addison, and my pronouns are they, them. Hi, I'm Blair. And your pronouns are? My pronouns? Can't you tell? Well, I'd rather know than assume. As Alok Vadmenon says, gender is not what we look like to other people, it's what we know ourselves to be. Gender is an array of mental and behavioral characteristics that relate to, differentiate from, and go beyond understandings of 
neutrality, femininity, and masculinity. You can't look at someone and know their gender or pronouns in the same way that you can't look at someone and know their name. You don't actually need to know somebody's gender identity, so make a habit of recognizing that your curiosity doesn't entitle you to personal information. Just as we ask for people's names, it's also okay to ask for people's pronouns. Start by sharing yours first. When in doubt, ask. And when you're sure, ask anyway. Because unless somebody confirms their personal information, it's just an assumption. And if you're going to ask for people's pronouns, ask for everyone's, not just people that you think are non-binary or trans. I don't know, this seems like so much extra work. Well, we could go around assuming people's identities and harming their mental health and invalidating their sense of self. Or we could ask a forward question and respect them. I mean, when you say it that way, I sound like a jerk for not doing it. Well, sis, if the scarf fits. Smarter in seconds. Wow. <laughs> wow. So again, they have the links here to check out a person, a, a biological man with a wig and a beard on and fake breasts, it looks like. Um... They're encouraging people to check out the Instagrams, right? This is what a California school district is doing. These people really believe that kids should be learning about this stuff <laughs> instead of learning how to, I don't know, be a functional, productive citizen in society. But that's obviously not what they want because they want kids to be woke activists, right? That's what they want. They want more kids more focused on using somebody's preferred pronouns. By the way, I always love how they call it preferred, right? Because preferred implies that they're not in reality when it comes to proper pronoun usage, right? Because preferred is what you prefer. That's not what your actual pronouns are. And that's what these people don't understand. I'm not forced to use your pronouns. I actually don't care if your feelings are hurt because all the end of the day, I care more about reality and adhering to reality than I care about your feelings. But also what I care about is the fact that these kids are being told to go and follow people who are posting softcore pictures on Instagram, right? Uh, things that kids should be exposed to. They're being told to by school district. That's what we're spending our taxpayer money on. So let's read a little bit more here. Vincent then quotes Alok Bade Manan, a trans activist who has stated that little girls are kinky and help Demi Lovato come out as non-binary before she re recently went back to female pronouns, saying, quote, gender is not what we look like to other people. It's what we know ourselves to be. <laughs> yes, sure, sure. Gender is an array of mental and behavior characteristics, Imani said next, that relate to differentiate from and go beyond understandings of neutrality, femininity, and masculinity. The two agree that, quote, you can't look at someone and know their gender or pronouns in the same way that you can't look at someone and know their name, Vincent said, sporting a beard, mustache, and long hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely in, in this person's case, you can't, right? You can't really know, but I guess you can because women don't grow beards like that, right? Now, there are some women that can grow some beards, but it's very few and far between, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Amani furthers this by saying, quote, you don't actually need to know someone's gender identity, so make a habit of recognizing that your curiosity doesn't entitle you to personal information. Okay, so if you don't need to know, if I don't need to know, then why do I need to ask? Why don't I just assume, <laughs> right? You can't tell me that I don't need to know and then say, hey, you know, I need you to ask because if I don't need to know, then maybe I shouldn't ask. Maybe I should just assume and go about my day, right? Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Kelly Sight, who re researches public school materials, shared a video to her Twitter documenting the Instagram story and the uh, graphic uh, images they linked to. Quote, Los Angeles Unified School District Human Resources Diversity and Equity Instagram account recently shared this Smarter and Seconds pronoun video to their story, which linked to these Instagram accounts. This is where tax dollars in public schools are at, she wrote. <laughs> Facts. Facts. That's exactly what's going on here. Vincent is perhaps best known for appearing on the Dr. Phil show where Vincent got into a heated debate with Matt Walsh of the Daily Wire over the fundamentals of gender identity and what it means to be a woman. 
Blair Armani, who collaborated on the video with Vincent, is creator of Quote Smarter in Seconds, a video series that teaches people her beliefs about the world viewed through a social justice lens. The video is meant to instruct others on pronouns that seem to suggest that one's sex has nothing to do with biology and is instead all about how one feels. Vincent, who goes by the Instagram handle Break the Binary, poses for a softcore when not educating people about preferred pronouns. On Vincent's personal page, there are dozens of photos and videos of Vincent wearing skimpy outfits that reveal the outline of Vincent's male genitalia and posing nude, strategically angling the camera to adhere to Instagram's nudity guidelines. Again, straight up sending kids to softcore. Again, this is the problem. When people say, oh, what is your issue with teaching about, you know, sexual identity and preferred pronouns to nine-year-olds? Well, the issue is not just that what you're talking about here is not appropriate for kids, that they shouldn't be learning about this stuff, things that are not grounded in reality. The issue is that the individuals that they're using to talk to kids about this stuff that they're exposing kids to are into weird, creepy things, right, on their own social media profiles, some of whom are, you know, hey, they got some criminal activity going on, okay? Again, this is the problem here. On the video about pronouns that LAUSD share, Amani instructs her followers to check out Vince's absolutely gorgeous Madura photos as well. The video was shared by the Instagram page dedicated to LAUSD's Human Relations, Diversity, and Equity Department, which is chock full of announcements on how to affirm students that claim to have alternative gender identities again this is what la is spending taxpayer dollars on to teach kids how to affirm their gender identity not any basic life skills but how to affirm their gender identity the los angeles school district has recently come under fire for their adoption of radical gender theory into their curriculum and school policy last month chris marufo revealed leaked documents from the LAUSD outlining their new policies and programs incorporating gender ideology into classrooms year-round. Writing for City Journal, Rufo details the radical gender theory curriculum that he says is encouraging teachers to work toward the breakdown of the gender binary, to experiment with gender pronouns such as they, z, and tree, and to adopt trans-affirming programming to make their classrooms queer all year. <laughs> queer all school year. Wow. LA Unified adopted a policy in 2019 that requires teachers to use students' desired names and pronouns that may not correspond to their sex with the adoption to keep their new gender identity hidden from parents. This allows public schools to secretly uh, socially transition a child from one gender to another. Well, yeah, that's exactly what's going on in some of these schools, right? Which is why you shouldn't be having these clubs, right? These clubs that basically are about sex, okay? You shouldn't be having them in school. Because this is what some of these teachers and some of these schools in and of themselves are pushing on kids, right? To affirm their gender identity, change who you are, change your name, which eventually used to leads to put these drugs in your body, right? Which eventually leads to cut off your genitalia. Again, what's going on in this country is an absolute disaster, man. It is an absolute disaster and a sham. It is the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm telling you, that's what's going on here. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.